very warm good afternoon to all. This is Maheshwari from TSWRDC, Sirsilla. My topic is Startups Innovation in Telangana. In the part of my become first year course under the field trip, we visited Sirsilla Srinidhi Textile Park. That coming up an area is 20 acres. Do you know friends, what is mean by startups in startup scheme in India? The startup scheme in India that is developed in that is developed in, in implement and innovation on the producer and the fibers in the production. Startup scheme in India, startup scheme in India is it, it was launched by 16th January 2016 by our Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi at Narendra Modi at Vignan Bhavan, New Delhi. Innovation in Telangana. Telangana, the newest state of India. It has been a bed of new technology and entrepreneurship, leveraging upon natural demographic assets as well as skilled demography, technology and research developments. Do you know friends, we go for next. Startups innovation in Telangana. I am explaining about three topics, TSI pass, T-Hub and textile industry. Friends, let us go for TSI pass. TSI pass, Telangana state industrial project approval, self and certification system. TSI pass is the certification system and service to industries and it has been developed and integration on the investment system production. The process allows sing single mechanism and implement on the production that is developed in 23 departments it providing 40 types of approvals and it throw on the process. It has been developed and encouraging upon the production process. This is played important role in India. According to data, according to data, this process is continued upon the stimulative options and required investment on the implementations that is developed under our New Delhi and the got climb into joining upon the joining upon the sectors of 2.7 generated employments are give to the people and workers. Friends, let us go for Let us go for TSI pass introduction that is implemented and investment upon the investment upon the, the government claims and the projects have generated 2.7 lakhs of jobs that is climate under the TSI pass. Friends, let us discuss about T-Hub. T-Hub is private and public partnership between three of India's leading sector in institute, the International Institute of Information Technology in Hyderabad, the Indian School of Business Hyderabad and the National Academy and Legal Studies in the business that is there in Hyderabad and the bill is itself that is included under the T T-Hub that is played important role and that is included under the generated employment and itself global market opportunities. T-Hub is new scheme that was launched on Silicon Valley in USA. The, this T-Hub is also known as T-Bridge. Next we go for textile industry. The textile industry in India 
Traditionally, after agriculture, that is only the industry. It is played important role in India. The textile industry gives huge employment opportunities to skilled and un unskilled labor textiles. These textiles are second largest employment generating opportunities and give generating employment to the workers under poverty people. And it offers direct employment opportunities to 35 million in the country. The total share textiles exports to 11.04% during April to July in 2010. As per ministry that is there in that is there in India that was played important role and the workers are achieved the achieved the targets and they, they reach the goals. Do you know friends? History of the textile park. Okay, I will tell. History of the textile park. The archaeological surveys and studies have the people in the field of Harappan civilization. In a few, in new decades, and the cotton will be decided to make industries upon continuing the production process. It refers to the weaving and spinning cotton materials. It found in the textiles industry. During late 17th and 18th centuries, that later go for more and total exports are Indian cotton to western countries and that is developed under our India. The textile industry and the power loom industries are developed more and more. The and the production. Production is played second in second largest sector fiber in the India. The produce of fiber mainly is cotton and another fiber produces silk, jute and cotton, wool, man-made materials. This is produced fiber. 60% of the Indian textile industry is implement the and improvement production it is under cotton textiles. Friends, let us discuss, discuss about cotton sector. The cotton sector is second largest huge employment opportunities to the workers, huge employment to the workers. And that gives they get target upon that production and they produces the fiber, they produces the production and cotton, etc. It is important role, it is played important role in our India. The handloom sectors, handloom sectors are developed and that is depending upon the that is depending upon the industrial sectors. In that, SHG's fund is also included. Its share market is 13% of total cloth will be produced. Next, friends, we will discuss it. Woolen sector. The woolen sector is played important role in our India. The woolen sector is seventh in seventh largest Indian sector that produces more woolen. The India produces 1.8% of the woolen in the world. Friends, let us go for Ministry of Textiles and Organization. Ministry of Textiles and Organization is improved and the textiles of industry is includes upon the, its policy is 2000. The textile industry, the textile industry is give huge employment opportunities to the people and the formulating and coordination between the silk, jute, cotton, wool and man-made materials that is imposed, imposed under our India. Friends, the production will produce it, the workers will properly work and they got 
good employment in the textiles of power looms. It is involved and included in decentralization of power loom sector and workers improvement and living standards also improve in this sector. The economical position and financial position, position is included in our information technology. Friends, let us discuss about advisory board for the ministry. The advisory board for the ministry is included advisory board for the ministry is included upon industrial sectors that is all india power loom sector all india handcraft sector and all india hand handloom sector there we are observed each and every part of the working system that is imposed an investment on the production there were involved 40,000 of power looms working in the system. Remaining that estimate and investment of the amount is 100 crore in the system. In that the unit will provide it direct employments to 15,000 members and indirect employments to 15,000 members. Remaining 90,000, 90% 90 of employees will be women. The women are played important role in this sector. They prefer to the women. In this, the steps have in the, these are steps in the production and manufacturing. There are three steps have in this process. That is warping and beam rolling and next dyeing process. In this, in this textile industry, more members are involved. They are warper, master and folder. They are playing important role in this sector. They have two, two shifts that is day, day shift and night shift. Day shift workers work will starts on 8 am to 6 pm and night shift workers days are starts from 6 pm to 8 am. The, the day shift workers produce the cloth is 60 meters and night shift workers are produced the cloth in 75 meters. Friends, we will go for cloth manufacturing. The cloth manufacturing is played important role in India. The cloth manufacturing is weaving process continuous a loom that is lengthway thread is called warp and crossway thread is called weft. The weft passes a loom in a shuttle that carries on a pun in the yarn. The pun are automatically changed in a loom changed in a loom and that is process continued in the total production of cloth. In that they will produce the cloth in produce the cloth in day shift and night shift workers. These are called there are in the three steps are cloth manufacturing. This is also, also called as weaving fabric manufacturing. The three steps are winding, warping and beaming and dyeing. Friends, let us discuss about winding. The winding is after being a spun and plied of the cotton thread that is taken on pearl and yarn in the warping room. And after where the warping machine is taken from the cotton material to found in the yarn on a beam that before taken weaving machine. Next warping and beaming. The warping and beaming is played important role in our sector. Warping and beaming means 
the after completion of beam the beam will keep on the power loom and the dividation of thread is called beam the threads are collects each other in the part the collect the thread is maintain the process of cloth that is called beaming and dyeing the dyeing process is exports to different places friends our gurukulam uniforms and bed sheets are are also produced in sirsila textiles not only this even our batkama sarees also batkama sarees also produced in the textiles of sirsila that production is more improved the industries are more increased in that area and that is in upon later and during the period of last year 3.7 lakhs of lakhs meters of cloth they will produce it in the india the telangana state distribute the sarees to women and it is the most important that in in this year also advanced the sarees will be prepared in that most important that most important that that will be played manufacturing process and the production process the weavers income is 8000 per month but before batkamma the weavers income is increased doubled from that that is 8000 to 16000 per month friends let us discuss about sirsila weavers have their hands full and that is played in busy as bees in that sirsila weavers have their hands full in the textile parks and power looms that is the textile industries and production process will be increased and improved in the sirsila in your first the government passes a bulk order to the producer that is produce and manufacturing the fabric cloth is that is produced the uniform cloth school uniforms cloth and that is improved and increased but that production will be continuously continuously that the process will continuously process included in the textile industry in that the govern the state government produce and distribute the sarees to women give huge employment opportunities to the workers and employees the state government is promised to weavers that is distressed the weavers power loom sector in the crisis 2001 in our it minister and municipal administration of ktr was represented sirsila assembly segment that is imposed and indirect opportunities to the people they will give 100% opportunities and they will work good in the future friends and the production and the investment is estimated under our country in that accordingly the process is give bulk orders to the workers in that the workers is produced 1.11% of cloth they will produce it in that fabric work is 45000 crores according to and that handloom sectors and textile parks are produced fabric worked with school uniforms that is 55 max max means mutual aided cooperative societies in the process they are involved and implemented and increased the work of production they produce more cloth and they living good life in the future and that will produce it in our sirsila district the total 7383 power looms are working in the system that is implemented and invested on the sirsila that will 
the 33 lakhs of crore meter of cloth they will produce in within the 20 days. In the first phase, the cloth will hand over to government and the remaining saris will give in the production of production and investment of investment of industries in the Sirisilla district that is improved and ecologically and planning to the investment of business. The district collectors are decided the color of school uniforms. The requirement of Rajiv Vidya mission and it is involved, involved and that is will be added. The required fabric work is included under more hospitals, TSRTC and well developed industries and police departments also this type of industries helps to the production. Friends and the welcoming the state government of people they were invested the amount and increased the production of investment that is involved under the production of production of cloth and the improvement of living standards they will increase it the increase it the economical position in their life and friends let us discuss about the busy as bees bees means you know friends bees means honey fly the honey fly is very busy with the collecting the honey in together one place that type our workers as workers and weavers also very busy with their work in order to process the bulk orders is given production is 1.11 crore meter of cloth they will produce the fabric cloth is 45 crore meter in that the production of textiles and power looms that will be invested in the sirsila the weavers ask us to provide implement the 60 days of production in that three phases the three phases are dyeing dyeing processing and printing dyeing printing and manufacturing that is involved in our textile park the district collectors are decided the color of school uniforms in that the manufacturing the cloth is will be improved and investment on the production process and manufacturing process the shirt cloth will be improved and that is taken the 54 a meter the shirting cloth is 34 a meter the chunni cloth is 34 a meter and the total 7383 crore meter of cloth they will produce it around the clock and let us discuss about the sirisilla weavers batukama saris to give lifeline to the sirisilla weavers in our government to order to produce the total 97 lakhs of saris friends saris only famous for sirisilla no Sir, saris is famous for pochampalli gadwal and narayan pet and nalgonda districts also but batukamma saris is prepared and produced in in our sirisilla textiles the weavers target is achieving the target is achieving 60,000 meters of cloth they will produce and 60 lakhs of saris they will produce. The remaining 37 lakhs of saris sourced from Surat that will process continued in the Hyderabad and the production will be continu continued in the Surat itself. It is most important that the power loom weavers returned from B1D 
enough to the throughout his life throughout his life and the improvement of their work standards their production will be included upon the textile industry the sarees will be distributed to women in 60 lakhs of sarees they will produce it. the state government decided that distribute the sarees to women who are living below below average poverty line and that total 97 lakhs of sarees they will produce it in 4500 power looms that is imposed on it with later in went up in 15000 of power looms the state government decided that 60 lakhs of sarees they will produce it that is, that will be added to 3.7 lakhs of meter cloth F friends finally before formation of telangana government our honorable chief minister will decided that will reduce the suicide and their poverty will be reduced thank you thank you given this beautiful opportunity and i would like to thank dr r s pravin kumar sir and dr pravin kumar sir mamidala and maruti rao sir osd thank you sir thank you given this golden opportunity to all colleges for empowerment of women student and i would like thank to my mentor renuka madam and my principal sir anja gaut sir and tswrdc sirsila thank you thank you very much